Good morning friends my name is Nareesh Dhul today i am going to show you this project that is based on digital phosphate test simulation in our project we have considered the maximum frequency to 200 mega units or 200 megahertz the low frequency that is 50 megahertz and the high frequency that is set to the 100 megahertz in our project we have considered two clocks that is the clock or that is the, this is the main clock or the reference clock which is used to calculate the time period of 1 second which is used to calculate or to measure the input frequency which is coming from the any communication source or any other hardware that is the clock 1 in our project we have considered the four outputs that is low pass high pass band pass and band z when the input frequency is less than 50 megahertz and we'll get the output at low pass output when the frequency is higher than 100 megahertz then we'll get it at high pass when the input frequency is in the range between 50 megahertz or 100 megahertz then we'll get it band pass and if the frequency is not in the range of 50 megahertz or 100 megahertz then we'll get it at band z in Our project we have considered the three signals that is A, B, and C. A that is the measuring frequency of input signal. B that is the minimum frequency, and C that is the maximum frequency. So now let's save the program and compile it from here. Compile. Okay. Set as top level. Now let's we are moving to the waveform window from here. in our simulation waveform i am giving the two input that is clock and clock 1 so simulate that signal i am importing all of the signals from here now simulate 200 megahertz on this suppose 75 megahertz apply now run now you can see on the waveform screen that is the main clock which we have given that is 200 megahertz and that is the clock one we have set it to 75 megahertz now the system will calculate that is near number of 75 pulses that is 0 to 74 and that frequency is in the range of 50 megahertz and 100 megahertz so you get the output at band pass that is same as the clock one frequency means whatever the frequency we have given to the input uh, to the input clock that will receive at at band pass filter when the frequency is in the range of 50 to 100 megahertz now suppose i am changing the frequency and put clock now i am setting it to 150 megahertz 150 megahertz then apply okay then again run now you can see after completing the processing of the system the system measures the frequency and then decide that the frequency is higher than 100 megahertz then it passes the input clock frequency to the high pass output and as well as band z because the frequency is not in the range of 50 to 100 megahertz you can see it here high pass and band z that is same as the clock one frequency here now suppose i have and changing the input clock frequency again now simulators again now i want to set it to 25 megahertz okay now apply then close again pressing run key now you can see the frequency has been changed the system starts processing and then decide that the frequency Less than 50 megahertz, so we'll get it at low pass. And if this is not in the range of 50 to 100 megahertz, so we'll get this output at band Z as well. 
I hope this video will help you uh, to choose your final project and that will assist you. For more details, please mail me at nsdouble.com. Thank you for watching.